good Geminis welcome to boss moves tarot 2.0 thank you so much for clicking on my video hope that y'all having a blessed day night whatever time y'all freaking be on this if you new here hit that sub button hit that post notification bell for your girl and thank you so very much for joining this reading okay all of my readings could apply to your past present or future take what resonates leave what doesn't if it don't apply let that shit fly all right Archangels, ancestors, and spirit guides. May I have clear and concise messages for my Gemini collective? Archangels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Messages for my Gemini collective. God damn, I dropped a hell of a lot of cards. Okay. Give me one second, guys. Because I dropped like tons of cards. Hold on, guys. I'm too fat for this. Okay. We just too fat for this. Not really fat. I'm just playing. So don't be coming in the comment section calling me fat. Because bitch, I ain't fat. Okay. I was just playing. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have the emperor here. Okay. Aries energy. We also have Scorpio energy sadness. So this emperor is sad. This could be your baby daddy. This could be your baby father. <laughs> or this could be the father of your child. You know, because I have all different type of collectives. Gemini Collective here. And then we also have the Hermit here. Virgo Energy. Soul Searching. There is a Virgo and an Aries going at it over you. Period. Could be a Scorpio too, guys. But big, big energy on the Aries with two Aries cards here. Two of Wands. You have plenty of options here. You really fucking do. Heavy on the Scorpio here too because we have Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You are getting a new relationship. You are receiving a new beginning with the Ace of Cups here. Um, then we have Page of Swords here. Delayed News Patience. So you could receive some type of delayed news. Something could be delayed here. It's going to be okay. Gemini shit happens. Okay. You don't fucking cry river about it. Heavy on the Virgo. So we have two Virgo cards, two Scorpio cards, and we have two Aries cards, and then we have Gemini card here. So what that's telling me is that these individuals, they are all fighting over you. Some of these people are upset that they can't communicate with you as of right now because you're not wanting to communicate with anybody. Okay. Um, you finally are having some financial freedom here. Freedom to buy the things that you want to buy and not just pay your bills and shit. And this feels really good. You're about to receive some good news. And it's going to come in very fast um, with some type of abundance here. Okay? Okay, what else is going on for my gems? Okay, we have the magician here. Gemini, Virgo, energy, creativity, action. So you're being creative and you're manifesting the things that you want at this time. Okay? And somebody's definitely trying to stop this. Okay? Okay? Some of you guys can be overly indulgent in things that you know that you shouldn't. Maybe smoking, maybe drinking, maybe gambling, maybe fucking. Just cut it out. Cut it in half, whatever you're doing. Somebody also could be a Sagittarius here as well. Um, you just want peace and you want you want balance. And, and you, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in because you know that you've done the work here. You know that you've manifested, um, you know, the things that you deserve. Whether that's a house, uh, a new car, a career, whatever. All right? Okay, what else is going on for my gems? What else? Okay, so we have gifts, generosity, charity, donations, money, community assistance. So the community could be helping you in some sort. Or somebody could be, or you could be helping them, okay? Um, a lack of money, financial control. Make sure that you guys are watching over the way you're spending your money. You don't have to always go and help anybody. Also, this could mean that this Virgo or this Taurus here, they're having money issues because they wanted you to have money issues. What else here for my Gemini? Okay, so we have lacking balance, poor organization. Okay, okay so you guys need to organize your space. Then we have escaping, growing, pulling yourself together, learning from past hardships. So you could be reflecting on some of the things that you went, went through in the past, some of the relationships you had, the shit that you put up with. Gemini, you cannot change the past, but you can look forward to the future. Work on your future and focus on that. You can't go back and be Shaquita ass because she, you know, stepped on your big toe three years ago. Like, fuck her. Fuck her family. Fuck whoever came with her. The horse, the dog, the grass. The motherfucking chimney. Fuck all their ass, Gemini. How long are you going to live in this, you know, this energy? Okay? How long are you going to regret 
Some people have to go through shit and you just have to know that you went through what you went through so that you could have this new phase of your life. All these new beginnings here. Okay, also there could be a cancer here and regret for the way that they treated you or a Pisces. You walked away from their ass with the eight of cups here. You sure the fuck did. And that's one thing about Geminis. We don't have no problem with walking away from some toxic ass shit because we ain't doing that. Let the next bitch deal with that, Okay. Structure, power. So you're learning how to be more structured. You're getting more into your routine. Um, you know, you're all about morals, ethics, and you like to be around people that feel the same way. Okay. And if you're not around those type of people, then you will quickly remove yourself. And that's what people are mad at you about because you ain't dealing with that ratchet ass shit. We don't do that ratchy shit, ratchy ass. Okay. <laughs> not ratchet, ratchy. Fuck. Okay, apprenticeship, learning, studying, growing, hard work, and commitment. Okay, you've been studying your craft. You've been doing good, Gemini. You've been doing your motherfucking thing. But you just can't get over this heartbreak. Like, somebody really broke your heart here. Could have been a Libra. Could have been a Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody could have broke your heart. What's the three of swords? Or well, there's a Libra out here heartbroken. There's a Libra out here heartbroken. Okay, what's, who, what's the three of swords here? Okay, the lovers, major choices. Oh, so this Libra is mad because you are getting a new beginning in love and they're getting left out in the cold with the five of pentacles here. Uh-huh. They're getting left out in the cold by a Taurus energy here or a Scorpio. And they're mad because you got a lot of options. You got multiple options. You're going to do what you do. These bitches are some haters, okay? These bitches are soft. You need a pet five. All right, and then we have light at the end of the tunnel recovering. You're recovering. You're removing all that negativity, that toxic shit. You know, it's hard. I see you guys going back and forth with yourself like, damn, you want to be evil. It's the twin in us. Like, we want to be evil. We really want to be evil so bad. You know, we want to let our evil twin show. And then it's like, you remember how hard you worked. And if you get on that stupid shit, how it's going to cripple your life. So you just, you know, like, okay, the most high is like, okay, let us take care of it. We got they stupid ass. They think they got away with it, but we got they ass. Queen of Cups, bitch, we got you. Okay, this bitch immature, very emotional. Okay, Une okay, bad luck, upheaval. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Cups, Cancer Party, Scorpio, or Libra, she is receiving bad luck. She sure the fuck is. King of Wands is too. He's rude. He's he's a bully. He think he better than everybody. He's impulsive. He's abuses this queen of cups. Sure do this Aries. Mm -hmm. And all they do is shit on each other and fight and get drunk and do stupid shit as well. Yeah. While you out here being a motherfucking hope and inspiration. You know what I'm saying? They out here doing this fuck shit. But then want to talk shit about you. Somebody could be a Leo too or an Aquarius. Then we have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo. Ungrounded. Overly ambition. This person is all about how to, how like people look at them and shit. And you like you don't give a fuck about none of that. It's all about if you rock with people. I'm a, and Nikki said it best. You rock with people for how they make you feel, not what the fuck they give you. That's the difference. This bitch, she gonna go through for whatever. Or this nigga, they gonna go through whatever. All right. This person is impatient, lazy, rude, disrespectful. This is a group of people, and they're all fucking having all this bad luck. All of them. Okay? And they caught you at a very vulnerable moment in your life. And that's how they was able to attack you. But no more. No more. There will be just this. Legality issues for this Libra and this Aquarius. Big changes for these motherfuckers. You will see these motherfuckers in the courtroom. And they're going to be crying. Failure, losing. They're losing in this courtroom. Period. Because they partnered up behind the scenes. And your new partner that comes into your life, they're going to fuck them up. This cancer, this cancer not playing. He like, baby, I got you. We finna murk their ass. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Gemini. The hangman. We going to hang their ass. They got your man feeling trapped, though. This queen of wands, this pushy over demanding Leo, bitch. Bitch, you ain't running nothing, ho. Okay? They feeling trapped. They're rich. Oh, she feeling trapped, too. Oh, the king of pentacles is trapped, and they're trapped. Oh, poor babies. Poor babies. God said, uh, y'all said y'all was who? Because I'm the only done daughter around this mf -er. Okay? Because I don't know her. 
And let's see. What is Taurus energy? What is Taurus energy for my gems? Okay, Ace of Swords, new ideas, victory, success. This is how this person views you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Judgment, indecisiveness, malicious gossip. They've been gossiping about you, but the truth done came out. It don't matter. Like, you letting go in the past, you focusing on the future. Yeah, y'all did what y'all did, but guess what, bitch? I'm good. Okay, you left home a long time ago, and you ain't worried about a motherfucking soul. Any other messages for my gym? Okay, so we get insecurity, infertility. Somebody wanted you to be infertile. They didn't want you to grow. This could be a Taurus. Taurus, big Taurus around this bitch. Karma waters. You move to karma waters on these dumb hoes. Okay, and they had a financial disaster. They had a financial motherfucking disaster when you move. Yep, this Virgo, this Taurus, all these motherfuckers. And now they're stuck at their repetitive, boring-ass job. And they mad because you 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 got success. You got achievements in a whole different type of way. And the world knows of you. And they don't like that. Okay? They want to cause all these burdens for you. They want Or they're overly burdened. And they want you to feel like they're feeling. This is what they're getting right now. Period. While you healing your inner child and moving the fuck forward. They looking stupid. Okay? All right, Geminis, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with your situation, please comment down below. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. And I will see you guys on the next Gemini reading. Hey.